Good day, peeps. Very good day. And today, I'm going to show you how to fix your M4 High Kappa Mag. Come on and check it out. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, open up the typical M4 high kappa generic one for your M4 or even the AK. Right now I have the M4 and for the Masada, the PMAG that I have. If you have a common problem of uh, feeding and no BBs come out, then it's time to check your M4 mag. So there are so many possible reasons why it does that. For me, I have so many mags like so many. Yes, I need it. I like it. Plenty more kills. But apparently, uh, some of it is hard to maintain. So there are so many reasons that you have problems. So you might have a broken gear, a broken, a, a very low coil, what we call the coiling. What it does when you wind it, and then it expands, it doesn't have that tension anymore. So you have to uh, cut. Some people do cut or some people just buy that small coil, then put it in your M4 to make it good in tip-top shape. If you have problems with your M4 high kappa, then this is for you. Let's try to open this up. Put up some BBs in my mag right here. You see this one is a very old mag. And I try to wind it up and nothing happens. So makes me curious, huh? So first thing you need to do is check underneath and use a hex screw like this one right there and unscrew so once removed watch out for these two clips right here push it if you have two flat screws very thin screws just push it up Okay, so once you raise that up, be very, very careful in sliding it up. And you see, those are the two clips that hold it all together. And remove this lock right here, and then unscrew this one, two, three, four, five screws. One, two, three. four and five so after removing all the screws you have to take note on this of this lock right here and use a flat screw just lift it up until there you go at this point you have to be careful now Okay, so after removing the mag, you notice these are the two clips that uh, is located here. So you better be careful in pushing it because if you push it, you might break this. It's sensitive. So you have to be very careful in pushing this uh, inward and then pull it out. And of course, don't forget to unscrew underneath. So after removing all the one, two, three, four, five screws and the lock here in the center, time to gently raise this up okay so nothing will pop out so let me show you a little bit of the dynamics of this um, so now I can see the problem now is lies within this spring here so whenever you wind this up it raises everything up and the coil pushes it through together with this roller that helps it go up until BBs are full that's the time you have a spring here lock and then this is automatically unlocked when you inserted it in your M4 and that's where the BBs will fit in so in my case I have to check two things uh, either the coil so like I said you can replace this with an aftermarket uh, like this one so that's an aftermarket coil that you just simply snug in and some people cut the coil inside 
so it's up to you whether you like to do that or not so you just remove this careful of the this metal thing this is located here this is the one that screws this one that's the purpose of that so don't lose that check if it's winding so what you can do is hold this and then see if there's a winding effect so for me okay nothing is winding so let's put the this here okay so this will fall up this is the cover for your m4 so it's just slides from here slides it over and this one is the one that stops the bb's from going up and be careful that's a spring and then after that the most important part is this one okay so once you lift this up so notice that there's a lock so one common problem is this lock right here so you see i'm gonna show you mine i have two of them that's already broken this one is a sign that it, uh, the coil clipped here but it's already broken because of the strong tension of the coil so that's one sign that you need to replace this wheel if you have another extra mag or you can buy a new mag if you don't have it well you also have to check this one to see if there's no you see if the the knob here is not broken so this one is already broken so it means that that's why the BBs does not fit because this is the one that pushes the BBs up and if you have a broken uh, knob here broken lifter what I call it <laughs> lifter lift, which lifts the BB up so it means that there's already a problem so you can also open this one but be very careful not to spill the coil okay so just lift it up and you can also check the gears here if there's a problem and again here you need you also need to check if it's properly swinging and you can also check the groove here if it's okay so that's another tip see any obstruction if there's no obstruction lifting the bb then that's okay okay so now the moment of truth let's open this up okay so it's already defective because uh, it should look like this right yes so some people just cut it and then create a new uh, shape like this so why this shape this is the one that actually so this is the one it should be like this so it should be in between right there and this is the main thing that uh, pulls the tension on the coil so when you wind it up, it gives tension and then it uh, raises the BBs up. So you really have to put it in this shape otherwise uh, it will not work. And that's the important thing why there this one should be complete. I will not use this one. I don't have to create a new coil but instead I'll use this one coil from my extra mag. I just found one that it's uh, currently very good uh, lifter here the teeth are all in order there's no broken teeth here and let's lift this up and see if I have a proper groove coil perfect so this is what we need so what you do is you just put it here and then insert it down in order for the clip to hold on to this and make sure that the flat one should be on top so this one it's not even this one is facing down okay so make sure it's in order like that and make sure everything is flat okay okay so put this first make sure this one lies first and then put it on that and make sure this one the one with the the one with the hole should be the one on the top but first we also use this spring to roll the bb's that was the bb's so you get one and then put the hole there 
and make sure this is the one on top and that one goes to this hole here it goes to here and this one is the one that clinks this rotation so this is the one that stops it from going back let's do this okay so right now it's a bit it's moving and you should see here that it's there and here stopping so you should have hear the you should hear the click sound that's good good to go okay good so if you are having a hard time you can open this up again be careful with the gears okay so before make sure this doesn't collapse otherwise you're gonna have a hard time if this one collapse make sure that you hold all the tension and then you can use a uh, long nose pliers so before raising it okay and make sure you will not break the the clip that holds the coil and there should be a lot of tension here okay so now it's now properly locked and you see when you clip it it's already adds the tension okay and again like i said the flat one should be up and the one that's not smooth should go down make sure you align the holes so all the holes should be properly aligned just press it and, and then don't forget to put this screw nut here that holds the that magazine like that and again the BB roller should now be in place and it should go directly right there this one don't forget the cap so just like that Okay, it's time to cover it up. Okay, so make sure everything is pressed. There's no obstruction here. So one way of testing is holding this one and then clip it and then wind it and then release. But it means that it's working so after installing it properly and check all the knobs time to return the screws one two three four and five and then also don't forget the lock so lock this again so it will not lose so make sure that is properly locked Time to screw it up. Okay, so before putting it back to the case, maybe we can try putting some BBs, loading it up some BBs, and see if it winds correctly or feeds the BBs. Now set, wind it up. Will it raise up? Good. And make sure you don't pull this up or it will spill out. Make sure this springs up. So only a few. Yeah, you need more BBs in order to push this. So it means that it's working. So it's time to bring it back to its original casing. So make sure this knob here is okay. Press it. So this is a bit elastic. Make sure everything is working fine. 
and now it's a good time to put back the hex screw underneath I like it rustic like this makes it more authentic once tightened you now have a good mag same thing applies with the old P mag so if I you have a P mag same thing you remove the screw underneath and what's the difference is slide it forward and then once you slide that that's the time you push this there's no more lock on both sides and as you can see same principle same thing okay so that's checking your mag so again what are the three things you have to check if it doesn't wind up make sure there's no obstruction on the nozzle going up to feed the bbs onto your m4 mag make sure that the gear is not uh, broken yeah make sure there's no broken clip on the knob this is the one that you twist the bbs to go up we call it camot in the philippines and make sure you need to replace the coil of your existing m4 mag so other than that uh, some people do cut it and then be careful if it springs up you just have to recoil it and also all of those spikes and the teeth are not broken so that's another thing to make sure that your mag is 100% working and if you need if you have an old bag you can still use it and interchange it and you can use some of the parts in using your airsoft so happy airsofting guys again please please do subscribe to my channel dinner vlogs and watch more and more airsoft games and peace hope you like my channel again subscribe forever and ever peace Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the upper left and on the lower right. Peace!